there? Yep. He, I'm sorry. He's yep. not there. That's there. He's here. Oh, Matt. Matt, um, Dave said you're going to bat three. Just kind of go through what that spot is uh, re the requirement and what, what you're asked to do batting three in the lineup. Uh, you know, I got moved there during uh, the Vandy series of 2019. And, you know, it's, it's just, it's just another spot in the order to me. Um, you know, it, the only, the only part that ever changes is the, the opponent you face and uh, year to year, the guys that hit around you and, you know, the, the parts that don't change would be, you know, just having good at bats and getting on base whenever I can and doing my job for the rest of the team. Bob. Yeah, Matt, what, what, what do you think about your, your starting rotation this, this weekend? Maybe you could give a brief uh, thought on each guy. You know, I'm excited for our rotation. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people were concerned that uh, it wasn't clear cut there for a while, but I kind of look at it more of as a good thing because they didn't, ma it, they didn't make it difficult to choose because nobody was standing up out in a, in, you know, in a good way. They made it difficult to choose because so many guys were standing out in a good way. So many guys were going out there and giving competitive outings every day. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm as excited as I can be. You know, I've faced pretty much every single one of them and none of them are just a, none of them are a cakewalk to hit <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. You know, uh, you got Zeb, Zeb, Peyton, and uh, Lockhart, you know, and, uh, Lockhart's that guy kind of sneaks up on you, just goes out there and makes his pitches really well, throws strikes. And uh, I'm not at all surprised that he's he's going to go out there and and, uh, and be one of our guys. And Zebulon's been tough to face for as long as I can remember. You know, he's he's uh, he mixes really well as well and on stacks it with a good fastball and good off speed, different off speed that break in different ways. And of course, Peyton. You know, and he, he's got tremendous stuff. Uh, I mean, it just top-notch fastball, top-notch breaker, and he's starting to develop some other pitches as well that I'm excited to see. You know, I, like I said, I can't, can't express how excited I am. Yeah, Dave said that Peyton increased his velocity, you know, top end from maybe 91, 92 to consistently being 95 or higher. I mean, just as a batter from last year to this year, did you notice a big jump for him? Absolutely. You know, and – uh, his, his velo increase not only obviously makes his fastball harder to hit, but it also complements his off speed and his, because he can throw his fastball harder, you have to respect it more. And that makes it harder to adjust to the off speed, if you will. Thanks. Much, much. Matt, uh, how's your, how's your shoulder doing? And do you think you'll be able to play some first base this year? It's doing a lot better. You know, it's, it's been a long road and, uh, I've worked hard to get it to where it is now, and it's come a long ways. Uh, I do, I do anticipate playing some defense this year, and uh, you know, I, I no matter what Coach Van Horn asks of me, I, I respect my role and I want to go out there and help the team in whatever way I can, whether that's DHing or playing first base. I mean, I probably won't be throwing 100 pitches anytime soon, but you know, it is what it is. Tom. Tom. Matt, you guys have been uh, practicing inside for a while now. I'm wondering about your preparedness for a real game now, how you feel about that, and also starting out the way you are against really top-notch competition, what you think of that? You know, I think we're as, uh, as prepared as we can be. You know, the, uh, when we play in Dallas, it is also going to be inside, and I think that us having practiced inside for a while is going to contribute to that in a positive way. Um, and yeah, you're right. They're throwing us out there with throwing us out there with the Lions. You know, they're Texas Tech, Texas. Those guys, those Texas schools aren't aren't uh, anyone to be you know to overlook. And uh, but I, I think we're ready. You know, we got a we got a good squad. Uh, a lot of I mean, just a lot of depth throughout the entire lineup. A lot of depth in the pitching. And uh, you know, I'm excited to go out there and play those guys. Jason. Matt, you talked about respecting your role and whatever that is. Then you also talked about earlier about the pitchers made it tough on the coaches to 
decide who's going to be in the rotation. What have you seen from guys like Wickland or Nolan Bolden, some guys that maybe have started in the past that are going to come out of the pen this weekend as they prepare for, for this season? You know, I mean, we've seen what, what they're capable of doing. And, you know, sometimes sometimes you don't have it, sometimes you do. And uh, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, when those guys have it, they're going to come out there and be as successful as anyone. And, uh, you know, I, I look at guys like Bolton, who's my roommate. He just, I mean, he works as hard as anyone. He goes out there and competes his butt off every single day. And, you know, they're, they're going to be contributors as well. Nate? Yeah, Matt, just kind of which, as a DH, what's your kind of in-between innings routine and, and you know, how do you, you kind of keep in the game when you're not out in the field? You know, keeping, uh, keeping your body hot, keeping your body moving is a pretty important factor, I'd say, because uh, you don't want to go up there having not done anything and you can't move at the ability that you're capable of moving, you know, um, baseball being one of those explosive sports you can't just go out there and just do something you'll get hurt or like I said you won't perform at your highest abilities um you know not one not just one thing in particular you know taking advantage of watching what the pitcher's doing when you're not going uh I mean cheering on your something as simple as cheering on your teammates when they're playing defense you know uh cheering on the pitchers you know I mean, the offense is all on one side of it and you know, picking up your teammates whenever they're on defense is another part of it. Whether you're a DH, whether you're relieving or, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, the defense, the pitching, this is just as big a part of it as me being a DH. Thanks. All right, back to you. Matt, you know, if you're DH and it looks like Brady or Cullen are going to play first base, I don't think either one of those are natural first basemen, but how have they handled the position? What have you thought about them defensively? They both they both done really well, you know, and uh, they can both really swing it from the offensive side of it. Defensively, they're both they're both good. They're both good, and uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. You know, they've come in, they've worked really hard, and uh, I'm happy that they're on our team. Curtis. Hey Matt, you've been a part of some pretty good lineups here at Arkansas. Where do you think this group? stacks up this season and you know what what do you think the identity will be for this team offensively you know that's a tough one to say um every team uh every team every lineup is going to be a little different in its way um uh, i think we're just going to be as going to be as deep as as we can be and it's not easy to replace guys like uh heston kerstad or casey martin in the lineup you know those elite guys that are early in the order but the same time, you know, we may be just as deep or deeper throughout the throughout the other end. You know, we got guys coming in that are going to be able to contribute. We got guys that guys that may not be starting, but can give you a really good pinch hit at bat in the seventh if you need him, and and then finish out the game if he must. You know, uh, I'm excited for it. Finish with the Jason here. Last one. Hey, that double play turn, or just the defense in general from battles and and more. How good is that, and and how how good are those two guys working together? It, it's really fun to watch. They're, they're really impressive up the middle, you know, and uh, you've seen Robert Moore go, you've seen how quick he is, how good his hands are. And then Jalen, Jalen just being a little, little different build, a different type of, uh, different type of defender. Just, I mean, he's your, he's your prototype shortstop. He's doesn't make a whole lot of, doesn't, doesn't make many mistakes. Uh, smooth. Him and Robert Moore being up the middle is just, uh, I mean, there's nothing more to say than just fun to watch. It's impressive. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it, Seth.